I'm not sure it's really going to get any worse than hearing Liverpool fans singing we're going to win the league at Anfield after beating United 2-0. It is what it is. Liverpool are going to win the league and United are miles, 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 miles away from the quality that the Liverpool team has. That's why they're going to win the league and that's why we're absolutely nowhere near. I couldn't really believe that United in the last 10 minutes were still in with a chance of getting a point and we had opportunities. But that game, you sort of, you left at the end of it. Angry is probably the wrong word because you expected that. We all expected Liverpool to win that game and it's the standards that we are currently going through. It just is what it is. And that's why I'm not too angry. Because what's the fucking point? We need new signings. We need to develop this team. We don't need injuries as well, and that certainly didn't help. But even a fully fit, full-strength United team that had McTominay in there, Popper in there, Rashford in there, we still would have lost that game today. 1-0 in the first half. It's weird how the game swung so much. First 10, 15 minutes, United were in control. Then Liverpool go and score from a corner, and no team has conceded more from set pieces in the Premier League than United this season. Van Dijk, what's with the zonal marking? Brandon Williams trying to stop Van Dijk's run. Then Maguire didn't even really jump. 1-0. And then Liverpool are in total control, and they should have been, well, they were, 2-3 up, but both of them got ruled out. One, I think, for offside. Fuck, I, I can't even remember why they got ruled out, but United, going in at half-time, I suppose we were fortunate to be 1-0 down. But we were 1-0 down and we were still in that game. And United came out in that second half and we got pumped by Liverpool. Absolutely. They were in total, total control. But United were still in the game. Liverpool could not kill us. And Fred, we've really got to talk about Fred, I suppose, because that was probably his best game in a United shirt. And in a match where United just did not have the quality anywhere across the pitch, and that was the big problem, he was fantastic in midfield. Really driving the team forward whenever he could. Great runs. Had a few shots himself. But Fred was certainly United's best performer. But going into the last 20 minutes, we were still in that game. But United just could not find the finish. And Martial was the man that was guilty of missing the biggest and best chance. Put straight through. And a man who normally just wraps his foot around the ball decided to leather it. And his shot flew over the bar. And then United... After that point, we started getting into the game a little bit more, but we just didn't have the quality. And that is it. That's why I'm not too angry at this, because we are a shit football team. wan Saka got absolutely torn to shreds today by Liverpool's left-hand side. I don't really think that Dan James helped in covering because he was getting doubled up with Robertson and Salah and Mane. But United are not a good football team. We could have got a draw there today. Have we had... Those moments of quality when we needed them. But we don't have those players. We are not good enough. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, is he a good enough manager to get United back to the top? I've always said that I don't think he is. But I still think that he's going to leave United in a far better position than when he found it. Tactically, I thought it was all right today. Playing four at the back, that worked. But United just didn't have it when we needed it. And Liverpool, they're going to win the league. And that is such a grim thing to say, but it is the case. There's no stopping that Liverpool team. I don't know why I'm not angrier, I suppose. We've just lost 2-0 against Liverpool, been absolutely torn to shreds for large parts of that game. But it's an acceptance of where we are. And is that me lowering standards? That's No, that's just that's me realising the reality that is staring me in the face. Bruno Fernandes needs to come in this team and knee, Rashford might be out for a couple of months with a double stress fracture in his back. I mean, for fuck's sake, McTominay's already been out for a while. Popper's still out. Rashford's out. The injuries aren't helping United, but the injuries are not the problem. The problem is that we are just not good enough. And that game there today was fully, fully expected. And obviously Salah made it 2-0 right at the end. What's your feeling after that match are you angry? Are you angrier than I am? Or is it sort of an acceptance of the reality that is United at the moment? Because Liverpool are going to win the league whilst we're scraping 
to try and stay in with a chance of getting in the top four. It is what it is. But at least Fred, I suppose, was good today. <laughs> what other positives are you going to take from it? Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But 2-0 at Anfield? No.